Hey everybody, it's Curtis the Wordy Nerd from Four Living Creatures Creations and I'm just uh, going to do a quick review of this new custom that I've got knocked out here. It is a custom Marvel Legends Spawn. Alright, I couldn't tell you what version of Spawn's costume we're looking at here. Um, a couple of years ago I got a commission for a Spawn figure and I worked my butt off at the time for what my skill level was and I just couldn't seem to get it right no matter what I did and ultimately I really do think that my my client at the time probably came away disappointed with what what I was able to pull off for him and it's bugged me ever since that I I had hit a wall something I couldn't do so I had to go back and give it another shot so over the years as I've accumulated bits and pieces for uh, for custom fodder somebody wound up sending me a spawn figure and I, I really couldn't use it and if my memory is right it was actually the same client who had ordered the spawn figure had just sent me the spawn later on um, and then I wound up getting another one and another one so these spawn figures kept accumulating but they're basically useless to me their articulation was terrible all I could do with them was a uh, was strip them for parts so that's what we've done you see the recipe from time to time it's a good recipe looks a lot like uh, some of the, the spawn uh, statue types that you see show up so it, what is it the some kind of angel or something the, the redeemer maybe I don't, I don't remember anyway um, that's the the body structure that jumps to mind whenever I see the Black Panther's body and think of spawn stuff so let's get straight to the the figure now. It's been two minutes of me running my mouth already here, but you guys don't really want to hear my voice as much as you want to see what the the figure can do. So we'll start with the head, the top of the figure, right? Work our way down. Um, we'll bring him in a little closer. Try to get a little better shot there. So that head is removable by way of magnet. The head was a Black Panther head, sanded down and repainted. The neck features a small screw that was put in to the neck wheel, the neck disc, and allows the neck disc to be repositioned separately. And then you add the figure's head. All right. Now, why would we give him a removable head? So that is so that we can go masked or unmasked. You tell Spawn which version you want to display. And the figure allows you to do it. Alright. Do a quick 360 there. So you can see all the way around him. Alright. So we're going to just slide that off. And because it's a screw and a magnet the bond between the two is weaker than two magnets and so the magnets not really going to come popping out of there it's going to stay put you can reposition the head basically as you see fit maintains the swivel maintains a little tiny bit of extra tilt because of the magnet and the the screw itself but okay um, next we started with the black panther base body because it's all black so there wouldn't be any joint rub. Um, the Black Panther's got the extra shoulder hinge that doesn't actually do anything. So, but that's there. So we had to take the paint around some of that to try to maintain the, the appearance. Um, the chains are from an actual spawn figure. The loops and hooks are also from the spawn figure. I transplanted them to the Black Panther's uh, crotch piece, diaper piece as some people call it. Uh, the arms and the legs and the band on the arm are all actually from that spawn figure. This chain here sculpted on by hand. But the hands and feet are all actually from the spawn figure. So uh, what I had to do was saw them off. After they were sawed off I had to sand them out and dremel them down and then add pegs they do still turn 
rotate. You might have to plug them back in after you do that because they can pop off. But for the most part, they're, they're pretty good and on there. All right. Some folks have tried that and not been able to maintain the, the articulation, but I was able to, so yay, go us. Um, as you can see, we'll hold it still and still rotates. Try to get a shot at the back of the, the arm there.